What's going on guys? Bever sent me this package. All right, so this is an 1800 watt motor kit. Let's pop it open. Schematic, okay, cool. So we got our controller, 48 volt, 1800 watts, 33 amps. We got our throttle, mounting hardware. And this is an 1800 watt brushless motor. Everything looks good. It looks heavy, but it's actually not very heavy. The whole box weighs 12 pounds. All right, thanks, Vever, for sending this out. This is really cool. I'll put a link down in the description. So Vever has a lot of specialty stuff, so I've been buying a few things from Vever. I have some pumps. I have a lathe chuck. Let's throw this onto a bike and see how it performs. All right, so I'm using bed steel and I've just mounted it with some clamps. I don't have it perfectly vertical because the wheel moves up and down. So when you receive your motor, your motor from the factory is set, the rotation to turn clockwise. So when you look at the face of the motor, it's going to turn clockwise. Now that's not gonna work for our setup here because we need our wheel to move this way to go forward. So we need to switch the rotation to counterclockwise. Now this is really easy. Now if you don't change the rotation and you put it in reverse, then you won't get the top speeds. So not only do you have to change the three-phase motor wires, you also have to change some of the Hall Effect sensor wires. First thing I would do is you're going to switch them on this plug because this one is glued. So you're going to switch the blue and the yellow, and you're going to leave the green where it is. I have blue to yellow and yellow to blue. And then you need to switch your three-phase motor wires blue to green, yellow to yellow, and green to blue. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Fifty-five. Pretty good. 
So I know you want to know the top speed. So I got up to about 55 kilometers an hour and that was my top speed with these 10 amp hour batteries. So I can't really give a maximum top speed because I'm only using 10 amp hour lead acid batteries. So I think if I had 20 amp hour batteries that had a higher discharge rate, I think I can get this thing up to higher speeds. But 50 we have a hill test up here. None of my e-bikes can get up this hill without me pedaling. Let's go. And I'm not gonna go very fast. I'm gonna stay at about, I'm holding the camera. So we'll do about 20K. Wow. All right, that was just effortless. I've been riding for about 12 kilometers. Let's check the motor, see how warm this is. Controller's warm slightly, and the motor's definitely warm, but it's not too hot to put my hand on. I can hold my hand onto it. 30C today, but it's about 25 now, I think because it's late in the afternoon. Seems to be okay. And I've put one of these porcelain blocks in here. So I have a glass fuse from a stove and it has a 30 amp Fusatron. Gotta change that up to a breaker. That's all I had. Now, of course, if anything goes wrong, you should always be able to, to get to your battery connectors. So I can just easily pull these off if there's any issues. All right, guys, so the bike works really well. I've been riding for a while now. So there's a little bit of cogging. It's not as smooth as my 500 watt. DC brush motor, but I mean, it's got tons more power. That said, it's not three times the power, I don't think. That again could be the batteries. I like this kit. We're going up a hill right now. We're not even, it's not struggling at all. Like I'm barely even touching the throttle. Got a good hold on the bike. I like the motor. Definitely put this on another bike. That's not even full throttle. I'm not going to do that holding the camera. Oh, this thing's awesome. 